Hey, report creators. In this video, we're going to talk about drill down reports. What are they? What are the key benefits? And what do you need to take into consideration if you want to make one for yourself? It's hard to overstate the impact that Microsoft Power BI has had on business intelligence and data analysis. As the most widely used BI tool, it changes the way that businesses think about data gathering, analyzing, and visualization. As more and more people are getting involved into the process of data analysis, we see a higher demand for reports that are effective, intuitive, and accessible. Hence, the drill down reports. Drill down reports push Power BI capabilities even further and is a new standard for Power BI report design. It combines ZoomCharts custom visuals, industry best practices, and we're built to address the current limitations and drawbacks of reporting solutions, increase the speed and efficiency of data exploration, and expand on the current data analytics capabilities. By focusing on intuitive and approachable user interface, drill down reports empower more users to explore and make it easier for everyone to get involved into the data analytics and decision making process. In this series of videos, we will talk about how to build your own drill down report. But before we dive into the details, let's take a closer look at the benefits that the drill down reports have to offer. The first benefit is full picture overview. You create a report which allows you to see the main KPIs, the overall trends, and just basically see what's happening in the current situation. But you also create a way for the users who want to explore things in detail to actually interact with the report. And this is very important because this allows the user to start choosing information through different dimensions. So for example, let's say you're interested in a specific salesperson in a particular category, or if you want to filter out a specific time segment. These motions allow you to, again, dig deeper into the details and find the answers that you are looking for. This is also great because it allows you to look for information and uncover new insights. The second benefit, modern and intuitive interactions. Report will be easy to use and explore by interactions users already know. Clicks, zooms, pinches on any device without having to learn Power BI native drill downs and drill ups. To achieve this, remember to keep the interactions consistent. Use visuals that interact in the same manner and support the same actions. Otherwise, you will end up with a report that confuses the users even more. Where, for example, in one visual, the drill down is activated with just a simple click or a tap, but in another visual, you have to right click and select drill down, or you need to activate it through an external element such as a button or something like that. The third benefit is going to be improved and more understandable UI and UX. Basically, what we're talking about here is going to be the layouts, the shapes, the colors, the visuals, and so forth. What you are trying to create here is more understandable and relatable design for everybody. But about that, there's going to be a separate video where my colleague goes deeper into those topics. You can then watch that video and apply it to your report afterwards. So we just looked at some of the benefits. Now we're going to take a look at some of the drill down reports and how do they actually look like. These samples and others could be found in our example gallery. The link to it is going to be down in the description. In this case, we're going to look at the inquiry analysis report and the revenue versus budget. So first of all, let's open up revenue versus budget. And in this case, let's say I'm interested in the February of 2022. We can see how things get cross-filtered and interact with each other. Then let's say I'm interested in reoccurring, employee 12, product 1, and so forth. And you can see how easily the visuals actually interact with each other. And this is the main principle of the drill down reports. You can easily interact with the visuals, cross filter the information, and look for those insights based on your actions. And the other report, like I said, is going to be the inquiry analysis. So in this case, let's say I'm interested only in the open deals. Again, cross filter the information, find only what's relevant right now. Interested in the sales department, Hudson Erickson, see a spike in July, click on it again. Just Make sure you interact with the visuals, interact with the data, and find the information that you are looking for. This allows you to move the charts around, cross-filter, create selections, and so forth. Now, these samples and many others can be found in our example gallery. And like I mentioned before, the link to it is going to be down in the description. So now when we have looked at some of the example reports, let's talk about other useful things besides using the Zoom Charts drill down visuals to create drill down reports. Tip 1. Pack extra time. Report creation is like a journey and it might take unexpected detours. So one thing that we can recommend from our side is make sure you account for unexpected changes and additional requests from the user. Tip two, set checkpoints. Make sure you get approvals at each step of the way. This allows you to eliminate some of the previously mentioned detours and at the end of the day, it saves you a lot of necessary wasted time. Tip three, know your audience. 
Is the report going to be built for a swift decision making or detailed analysis? Make sure you cater to both of these audiences because this is what the drill down reports are all about. Tip four, make your visuals understandable. If complex charts are actually needed for the report, make sure you help the users by creating some sort of an information overlay or an informational guide to help them understand how to use this visual in the report. Tip five, understand the final destination. What I mean by this is understand if the report is gonna be meant for mobile use, desktop use, or is it gonna be used as a presentation material on a large screen somewhere in the lobby or in a conference room. Tip six, understand the data and the story behind it. Understand where the data comes from, its refresh rate, its security needs, and weave a compelling narrative with it. Tip seven, master your KPIs and metrics. They are the guideposts in your report leading your user to the goal. Take your time to explore DAX and build the most appropriate measures that doesn't slow down the report. And that wraps up our swift intro into the drill down reports. What's next? It's the world of the drill down report design. See you there. Happy reporting.